fall of 2007, some of my teenage middle school students visited several rural elementary schools. The older kids guided the younger students through hands-on science activities, and the teenage students showed the elementary students technology projects that they can make when they get to the middle school. One of the technology projects middle school students can make is a working model of a hand. The hand model moves so realistically because it works like a real hand works. Where are most of the muscles for our fingers? Not in our fingers. Not even in our hands, but past our wrists, in our forearms. The muscles in our forearms are attached to our fingers with strings, called tendons. One of my students showed me how we can make our relaxed fingers curl just by pressing on our forearms. It's kind of eerie. And it makes your fingers curl. Our muscles give our fingers the strength to hold the weight of the rest of our body. Yet because those muscles are tucked back out of the way of our fingers, we can create music and convey complex communication. Strength and dexterity. Powerful and nimble. We get both because our bulky muscles are out of the way, attached to our slender fingers with strings. I must warn you that the model hand is a challenging, messy project. It takes my middle school students a couple of hours, although projects are always slower the first time through. If it is an appreciation of our fingers that you're looking for, there's a quicker, easier working model finger project. It is essentially a notched drinking straw with a string taped on. You can find directions for it at sciencetoymaker.org in the robot hand section. <laughs>